Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now this particular Mach-E is a premium model finished in space white metallic. Taking a walk around the outside of this Mach-E, we do have these nice LED headlights with the sequential turn signal. You also have your rear, your, sorry, your front parking sensors along the bottom of the bumper. The nice gloss black accents here on the lower bumper as well as the uh, trim around the grille. It also houses the front camera system there as well and the Pony logo right there in the middle. Very aggressive styling here on the Mach-E. Coming around to the side here, we do have these nice 19 inch machined gloss black aluminum wheels. It is wrapped in a 225-55 all season tire. Again, we do have those gloss black trim there. It goes around the fender and also the lower section of the door. Also have your Mach-E badging right there. And again, gloss black mirrors. It also includes the turn signal as well as your side view camera and also the blind spot system up there in the corner. Bringing a premium model, we also do have the uh, gloss black roof, uh, which does incorporate the panoramic fixed roof, which I will show you when we're inside, but it is a gloss black roof. And come around to the back end here, nice LED taillights with the sequential turn signal as well, just like the front. We also have your rear parking sensors along the bottom of the bumper. We also have your rear view camera, and again, another pony badge right there as well. And stepping inside of this Mach-E, we do have an electronically actuated door release. Uh, so you're actually meant to just push that button there and sort of just pull it open. Uh, but being a premium model, we do have the Active X seating here. Uh, this is a sort of leather-like surface. It's a nice alternative, a vegan alternative to a, a traditional leather seat. Uh, very comfortable and it gives it look very, very good. Uh, they are heated, uh, of course, and uh, fully power operated uh, as well. Now, uh, but looking here at the door panel, again, more nice soft touch material here on your armrest, as well as the upper door. We also have your Bang & Olufsen sound system, which does come standard with the premium model. Also have all your power windows, your power mirrors, and your power locks with your uh, memory function there, and also the power folding mirrors, which is a, an upgrade from the, from the base Mach-E. Now uh, we also have your, all your light controls, your automatic lights, as well as your max defrost and the traction control button there, and a nice Mustang door sill plate there as well. But climbing inside here of this Mach-E, we do get Ford's intelligent access key fob, which does include the power trunk release uh, as well, and also push button start. Now this particular Mach-E is a, a standard range battery with the rear wheel drive. Um, you can option in a larger extended range battery, although this particular one does not have it. And you can also option all wheel drive. Um, so you have options of standard range or extended range or rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Uh, so it's nice that Ford gives you that option uh, on the premium model here. Uh, but starting on this nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel, uh, being a premium model, we do have Ford's Blue Cruise system, uh, which is a, a hands-free driving experience uh, that Ford has. Uh, so you have all those buttons here. You also have your volume and some of your track buttons there as well. Um, so you have the Blue Cruise sensor there right in front of you, and that watches your eyes as you're driving to make sure you're still paying attention to the road. Uh, but here in the middle, we do have Ford's Sync 4A display. This is a humongous display. It does take out quite a bit of real estate on your dash. Uh, it's a 15 and a half inch vertically oriented display. And we'll kind of go over this quickly here. Uh, we'll start in the top corner. We have your Mach-E sort of car logo there. Uh, this will pull up some of your controls and your settings. Uh, so you can change your drive modes. You have a bunch of drive modes there. You also have your one pedal driving. You do have your 360 degree camera system. Uh, so you can pull up that system there. You also have your driver assistance uh, features there. And in your settings, you have your, uh, all your sound settings, your charge settings, and also your driver assistance features, uh, such as your adaptive cruise control, your lane keep system, pre-collision assist, blind spot, cross traffic alert, uh, brake assist. There's lots of good features, uh, features that are standard on the, on the Mach-E. You also have your vehicle settings, vehicle hotspot. The list goes on and on here. You also have ambient lighting, which is another feature of a premium model. We do have the addition of the ambient lighting, which is certainly nice to have, uh, so you can control all the colors as well as the, the the, uh, the brightness as well. Um, but this button up here does pull up all of your menus. So you have your radio, your phone, your navigation, those are your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And you also have a couple other things there as well. Um, you can access those uh, settings through here. So if you want your radio, you can pull up the radio or you can use these sort of quick menus down here. Uh, so see if you want your navigation, you can pull up that and it will pull up the navigation for you. You also have your phone settings, or maybe you want your trip information, you can do that. Uh, very easy to use, very intuitive. Ford did a great job with the screen. Down here we do have your dual zone automatic climate control. 
Now, being a premium, we do have the addition of your heated seats as well as the heated steering wheel. Uh, so you have that, which is nice. You have a wireless charger down here as well as some USB inputs there. Nice gloss black piano black trim there. You also have your park assist with your hazard light and the electronic parking brake as well as your transmission selector there. And being a premium model, we also do have your panoramic sunroof. Now, this is a fixed roof, so it does not open, uh, but it is a nice having a sort of a nice glass roof here on the premium. We will again have that Bang & Olufsen sound system. So we have that speaker that goes across the entire dash, as well as your uh, center channel speaker right up there as well. And looking into the rear seat here of the Mach-E, a similar design with the door with the electronic release, although we do not have a little handle here. You're actually meant to just sort of grab the door. And there is a safety mechanism in here that prevents the door from closing back on itself. You actually have to open it again and then close it shut. Uh, so it's nice that Ford kind of incorporated that. And of course, they do give you a nice sort of cover here to protect your door from getting all scratched up. Uh, but similar design here with these seats on the, on the back here, we have the nice uh, contrast stitching. And again, with the Active X material here, uh, back here, we also have a nice uh, fold down center console with some cup holders in it. And this is uh, just giving me the opportunity to show you the window sticker uh, for this particular Mach-E. So again, we do have the premium rear wheel drive with the standard range battery. And again, finished in space white. Uh, this one doesn't have any options really, just has your uh, perk assist prep kit, uh, which is a credit that you get from Ford. And uh, that brings the price to uh, just over 65,000. Uh, that is Canadian dollars. Um, so let's keep that in mind, Canadian pricing. Um, but we do have also some USB inputs back here. We also have some climate vents. And uh, being an electric vehicle, we have a nice flat uh, load floor back here uh, for your rear passengers. But I do want to take you to the trunk area real quick and then the front trunk. Uh, but being a premium, we do have the power lift gate. So it does go up for you. And you can also use the key fob as well. We also have the uh, sort of cargo protector, cargo shade back here, uh, which will protect some of your valuables. We have some carpeted floor mats. And we also do have the uh, subwoofer for that Bang & Olufsen sound system. Uh, right there on the side, we also have a 12 volt connector, multiple hooks all around. You have uh, all around there, we have some lights and uh, additional storage. We do not have a spare tire, they do not come with the mach -E's. You do have the sort of fix a flat with the, with the air compressor there. Um, but I do want to show you the front trunk real quick. So to open the front trunk, we go to the driver's side here and we pull on the uh, hood release, which is basically what you would see on a regular vehicle, just your hood release. So if we go around to the front trunk here, it is on struts, so you just kind of lift it up and it will uh, open up for you. Nice Mustang logo right there as well. Uh, we do have quite a bit of space up, uh, up here, considering this is all additional space that you wouldn't get with a regular gas vehicle. Um, so obviously this is all just nice space to have. We also have your washer fluid, so well some additional mechanical stuff in behind this cover here. But unfortunately, this particular Mach-E is a sold unit. But if you're interested in getting one just like this, feel free to give us a call or visit mcfeeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.